Hi everybody from a beautiful evening in Skyrim. I was going to make it daytime but the sky is so gorgeous that I just decided to leave it as it is. I'm at another new mod today. This is Lake Honrich Cabin. It's by Amy Loves Cake and she did the Stonehaven Manor that I was at the other day. Oh, it's so fantastic out here tonight. What a view. So this sits slap bang where Aspen Manor sits. I'll show you where that is. Here we are next to Merryfair Farm. There's Rifton. You can fast travel here straight away. And it's charming. Absolutely charming. You have your own little jetty down there. And actually, I'll show you when you get here. The jetty contains the key to the home, it's on that little table, uh, along with a very sad letter from the previous owner. I won't read it all because it's quite the yarn, but uh, do read it, it's, it's, it's really sad. But it explains how the house is empty and how you're able to just mosey along and move in. I can't stop looking at the sky, oh my god, it's so, be so beautiful. But the cabin, it's a sort of typical, standard looking place from the outside. There's a few veggies, there's a well. You are slap bang next to the farm. You have your own cow who's milkable. I think that gives you an idea where the smelter is. <laughs> and some goats and chickens. And a stable building. So it's very rural, very rustic, very charming. There's an apiary over there. And I've got tufty grass sticking through the deck. I think that's just the Skyrim floor overhaul doing its thing. But it's a smashing little place. Inigo's already indoors. Oh, by the way, I put the Jester hat on him, Cicero's hat. Um, and oh my God, he's he's been really creepy ever since then. One of my viewers, Amy, told me to do it, and um, yeah, he's talking in his sleep and stuff. Anywho, this house, the minute you come in, this is what you see. It's beautifully lit, nicely decorated. I love all the green. The key for the safe is in here. So a few weapon racks, somewhere to drop off your boots and shoes, a couple of mannequins, dining room kitchen, oven butter churn and cooking pot. It's got it all going on. Nice. Really charming looking room. And cosy. So, there's no room for kids here, but there is a follower's room. And he's making full use of it. He went straight to bed the minute that we got here. <laughs> nice. And my room is next door. Also very nice. A couple of wardrobes. Oh yeah, and... Just like at um, Stonehaven Manor, a whole bunch of jewellery that you can enchant the listener, or... you are the listener. I have served my mother well. What is happening to me? I'm going to take that hat off him. He's too creepy for words. And 500 gold. Nice. Nice comfy bed. Couple of display cases. Very nice. Mannequin behind the door. I know I'm not the only one that finds them quite creepy. So that's pretty much it for this level. And then there is a terrific basement. You have your little library corner here. Comfy tub chair, somewhere to sit. And have a drink. And isn't that nice? That is so pretty. So down here, straight to your smithy. And there it is, vented. 
There is bags of storage in this house. I know I often say it, but there really is. Whoa. We're rich, I tell you. Quite a big area, quite a big workroom here. And then here's all the rest of your crafting right next door. Everything in easy reach. Oh, I love that. That is so pretty. I love those little faces carved out of wood. Ew. Might get rid of some of the dead animal heads, though. <laughs> Never fond of those. And isn't that nice? Look at that little rug back there. Alchemy and <laughs> human and creature parts. Ew. And staff enchanter. And spider thingy. And then next door to that, when you've finished all your work and you're all hot and sweaty, you can have a lovely bath. And isn't this a really nice bathroom? Cozy fire. Wardrobe, and this is really smashing. And it's a proper sized bath. All right, I'm going to go and get Inigo's hat off him because it's freaking me out. <laughs> and I'll leave you with this view. Call that the end of this wee video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do let me know what you think about it in the comments and I will see you very soon for the next one.